Hello and welcome to the Scaffold channel. Today, this is my $1,000 gaming PC. So if you want to build a brand new gaming PC at the $1,000 price tag, and you still want it to have ridiculous performance and running all of your favorite PC games at 1080p, even up to 4K, and you also want it to just be very quick in general with it being very snappy in terms of loading up applications, your games, and even your operating system. And lastly, you just want it to look really badass so you can show it off to your friends, then this is the $1,000 gaming PC for you. So for the processor, we're going with the brand new Intel Core i5-6600K. This is a new quad-core processor by Intel based off of the Skylake architecture, and this can run at 3.5GHz out of the box, but this can overclock up to the 4.0GHz range since this is an unlocked processor. And based off of benchmarks right now, this is the fastest Core i5 processor you can get for a gaming PC. Now for the CPU cooler, since no CPU coolers come in the box with these new Skylake processors, we're going with the legendary Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO. This is a very popular CPU cooler amongst many PC gamers due to its amazing value. Essentially, it's just like a $60 CPU cooler, but in a $30 price tag, due to its amazing cooling performance at such a low price. Even I myself own a Hyper 212 EVO in my main gaming PC. But anyways, this will keep the Core i5-6600K in this build nice and cool, even at a very high clock speed. Now for the motherboard, I'm choosing the ASRock Pro 4 Z170 ATX motherboard. This is a brand new motherboard that's designed to go along with these new Skylake processors, and with this new motherboard, you're getting support to have up to 32GB of DDR4 RAM, it has plenty of SATA 6 gigabit ports, and plenty of USB 3.0 ports, and it even has its own Ultra M.2 drive slot. And lastly, this has very large heat sinks on it, which means it can dissipate a lot of heat, and then it can definitely overclock that i5-6600K above 4.0 GHz. Now for the RAM, I'm choosing the Crucial Ballistic Sport 8GB RAM set. So this is a DDR4 RAM set for $55, and it's more on the value side of RAM sets, but really, 8GB of RAM is all you'll need right now for PC gaming, and you'll only need more if you're going to be doing any sort of video editing or rendering, or if you're going to be running multiple applications across multiple screens. Now for the storage solution for this gaming PC, we're going to go with a combination of a hard drive and an SSD. So for the SSD, we're going with a Samsung 850 EVO 120GB SSD. So for $70, this is going to be the SSD that's going to store your operating system and your main programs, but really, this is what's going to give your PC its overall performance in terms of loading up applications really quickly, downloading stuff from the internet instantly, and just really having overall quickness in your PC. Now for the hard drive that's going to work in conjunction with this SSD, we're going to go with a Western Digital Blue one terabyte hard drive. So this is going to store all of your games, your images, and your videos due to its one terabyte capacity, and due to its really good reliability, there's going to be no chance at all losing all of your data on this hard drive. So for the graphics card, we're going with the Gigabyte R9 390 WinForce Edition graphics card. So for $300 right now, this is the best graphics card you can get in the $300 price range and it beats up the GTX 970. But anyways, for this graphics card you're getting 8GB of VRAM, which means that VRAM shouldn't be an issue whatsoever on this graphics card, which means you could be playing a game at 1080p and if you wanted to, you could go ahead and play it at 4K just due to that huge VRAM buffer. Also, this graphics card can support DirectX 12 and it can support AMD FreeSync and lastly, this graphics card does have the WinForce Edition cooler on it, which means that this graphics card is quite overclockable. Now for the case, we're going with the Fractal Core Design 2500. This is a premium tower made by Fractal Design and at a low price right now, this is one of the best sub $50 cases you can get for a gaming PC. Due to its modular hard drive bay design, long graphics card support, excellent airflow, and great build quality, this is just a great case to have for this $1,000 Skylake gaming PC. Now finally, for the power supply, we're going with the Thermaltake TR2 600 watt power supply. So for $65, you're getting a power supply that has the 80 plus gold rating, which means that this power supply will always try to run at the lowest wattage possible, even from being at an idle state all the way up to full load, which means that it'll save you money on your power bill. And also, this power supply has 600 watts, which is enough to support overclocking on the i5-6600K and R9-390 in this build. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this PC build video for $1,000 with the new Skylake i5 processor. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and all that. And this is the Skyvolt channel signing out.